Greets you to Proper Boy here. I uh, want to show off a new design. This is a MIMS oscillator. Uh, you may notice the enclosure is slightly different from what I normally use. It's a much larger uh, steel enclosure. I'll give you an example. Here's a raw box right here. Uh, so they are larger, really nice size. Um, using uh, EMS style knobs on it too, just giving it a real kind of an old school oscillator feel. Uh, the features that we have on this very quickly, obviously our power input here. This is our audio output. We have two voltage inputs on the unit. Uh, each has its own independent LED, which will flash when it does receive a voltage input. I've got a starve knob, pulse width, and frequency. And you'll see how our starve works. If I start backing that off, our LEDs will slowly fade out. I've also got a switch that adds a capacitor to the circuit and our other switch here is going to toggle the ground going to the output. Um, something that I just kind of randomly stumbled upon uh, while building these circuits and something I try to build into all of them now. But what I am going to do is demonstrate this new oscillator using the old school SQ10 analog sequencer there. And we'll just get some things going so you can hear what it sounds like. I'll also demo it uh, in just standalone mode, which is the way that the MIMS is typically played. But again, it's to me so much more musical when you can get one of these bad boys running up against it. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Yes. <laughs> 